Oh, what's up, crew? It's Marshall. Come to you guys, girls, raw. And I appreciate you coming along for another one of these boxing adventures. That was louder than I thought. <laughs> anyway, I, I, you know, um, I have a, a three for coming. I got three box videos, so you'll see me in this attire for three videos in a row. And um, it, it's to hopefully get the uh, parcels in the mail USPS Express in the AMs. Bang, to their new home so that it can spread the LMK love. Um, well, first things first, right there in my, my viewfinder, I see to your health and happiness. Man, 164. 164, hashtag uh, number 164 LMK. This is for Jeff. Um, you'll see you'll see all the links down below. Uh, I will try my best to not only include Jeff's um, Instagram, but also his phenomenal YouTube channel. Uh, Jeff requested, uh, first and foremost, Jeff was the one who won the St. Baldrick's knife about a year ago. Um, and in uh, about that time, about a year ago, uh, we did the St. Baldrick's Children's Cancer Knife and brought them a ton of money with a, a lot of a lot of effort. Uh, this year, Jeff goes, you know, I gifted my father that knife. Awesome, and uh, he he doesn't want to use it. It's it's too nice. And I said, nice, but it's a user, man. I will, you get a knife for me, whether it's a, whether it's something like that, a special thing or not, I'm going to, I'm going to try my best. I'll refurbish it out always. He says, yeah, but I want to use a user version of it. High end steel user version. Bang. Let's go ahead and, um, Get the sheath off without ruining the cards. Because I tried doing this earlier and I forgot the dang um, certificates. So, number 85 now has a um, sister. This is number 164 LMK. It's my LMK hybrid sheep's foot. Wearing brass bolsters that are pinned along with the amazing F50 carbon fiber from Nate over at Ghost Carbon Fiber. The uh, steel is from Pete Naldo Bruno. Uh, big shout out. What's up, Lewis? Uh, over at New Jersey Steel Bearing. All names that I drop will be down in, uh, in the link below. Um, as I stated, the uh, phenomenal. F50 carbon fiber from Nate over Ghost Carbon Fiber. The mechanical bond on this knife is the four uh, quarter inch brass tubes, chamfered flared, uh, and of course epoxied, along with uh, the peened. Uh, mm, I don't know if I can. That's right, I hide the blade. There, you can see it. One there. See it there? One there, and there's. I'll put my finger right on top of it. Maybe you can see it. Right there. My fingernail's right on it. There's the, uh, the other pin. Maybe the other side, you'll see it a little better. See it? See it? Right there. Bang. Found you. And so the pins are in the uh, brass bolts are also uh, no epoxy uh, for brass. Um, the request was polished flats. And belt finish or or 
user finish uh, bevels. So I have the belt finish, I believe is, actually I know it's blue scotch bright, and um, same with the swedge. The outstanding engraving done by the Tangway, Seth and Brian Tangway. There you go. Number 164 LMK, L Marshall. Nice to meet you. And CPM S35VN. Uh, for the, sh the uh, oh, and it has an extremely lean variable grind. So the tip does get thicker. But it is a high performing cutter. Uh, and the sheath, the sheath is 080 hole stacks um, with uh, a large tech lock. As far as the cut performance goes, you know she is sharp. And I've, as of late, I've got a few questions, both uh, in DMs, uh, well, actually, uh, in DMs on Instagram. Uh, I've had questions here on YouTube, uh, even on my uh, Lloyd Marshall Knives on Facebook, and texting me. Um, you guys want to see videos of, of how I sharpen a knife. I sharpen the knife on my Fear Grinder. And then I uh, usually buff the wire edge on my on my machine, and um, if for whatever reason uh, I want that ridiculous um, curly 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 hue like uh, edge, then I'll I'll go ahead and hand strop. Or sometimes if I'm wearing flip-flops and I don't want to get on that buffing machine, uh, I'll hand strop also. So, um, ooh, curly cue. Stocking it so they're concentrating, get my lines. One, one good curly cue. Yeah, I messed it. Yeah, before we get hooked too crazy. You know the tip is um, just as sharp as anything. The humidity is extremely, extremely high. I, we are about to have a, a very big storm, so um, I'm hoping to get these done. Nothing but love. Um, I hope they get these done before any kind of power is lost or anything like that. But oh, oh, curly Q. They cut it off anyway. <laughs> Man. One curly cue. I don't care how moist the, the paper is. Did I say that? Hopefully you guys weren't paying attention. Alright. That's enough playing around. Because I've got two more to do. So for now, go over the rest of the, all the dang cutting. There they are. You know, I've got my, got the card, information card for uh, myself. Huge respect back to uh, Paul uh, Savati over at Serene Madness for doing these cards for me. Thank you so much. It was an awesome, awesome, awesome gift. And COP. Hybrid sheath foot, um, CPM S35VN, LMK EDC custom, and it's a model. Uh, the day is August 25th, 15, 
2015 that is, and this is number 164 in Lloyd Marshall. Nice to meet you. You know, I'm getting the Tack the Hot um, in between the two cards, and I am going to put that all in between the large tech lock. Now, real quick, um, go over the large tech lock. I have the, the custom brass fasteners uh, on there. You can go ahead and take these off. I put it where I thought was the most common place. You can go ahead and go turn it diagonal for your diagonal cancer cross draws, or you can flip it so it's a horizontal carry. Your choice. Uh, if you do go cross draw, it'll be uh, obviously the diagonal. We'll go one and four, two and five, so forth and so on. You have to change the whole pattern. You only use two of the, the fasteners uh, if you choose to go that route. Um, for now, this is not the last time this comes out of my hand, out of the sheath. Um, so we will put some rust rags on there. Anyway, I am extremely. Oof, we're at the um, man. These one one thing about the economic paper towels is they go they go fast. Um, still per their tradition, we'll put the rush rags, open knife care kit on there, uh, knife sauce on there, and you know. Um, that Jeff is getting an ultimate, uh, whether it's to give to his father or keep for himself, uh, Jeff is getting the ultimate uh, knife kit from Rusty Rags also. And a new clamshell packaging, I love the packaging. I like it much better than the bag. So this is the last time the knife comes out of the sheath by my hands tonight, and we'll see some pictures tomorrow. I don't know, white thing, white thing uh, sheath down also. And uh, put the tack the hot in the in the uh, the cards in in the tech in the uh, tech lock. Close it up, lock it up. For now, guys and girls, thank you for coming along for another one. Oh, get ahead of myself. Thanks for coming along for another one of these box adventures. I appreciate your your time. Thanks for giving me another 13, 14 minutes of your your night. Now be blessed. Oh, <clears throat>